So we're going to continue solving equations from section 9.4. Here I have 6x to the negative 2 minus 19x to the negative 1 plus 10 equal to 0. So if you, if you notice the, the middle term x to the, has x to the negative 1 and the first term has x to the negative 2, x to the negative 2 is really the square of x to the negative 1. So if we let some variable equal to the uh, variable part of the middle term, so if we let u equal to x to the negative 1, that means u square would be x to the negative 1 square. So then that would give me u square equal to the x to the negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So I can replace x to the negative 2 with u square and x to the negative 1 with u. So this becomes 6u square minus 19x to the negative 1u plus 10 equal to 0. So now I change this into an equation, into a quadratic equation in terms of u. So I can solve in terms of u first. So let's see if we can try factoring this quadratic equation. 6u squared is can be 3u, 2u. Let's see if this will work. And then 10, you have uh, 2 times 5. Uh, so it cannot be 2 here because 2 is not a factor. 2 must be here and 5 must be here. Let's see if, if this will work out. The middle term is negative and uh, the constant is positive. So they both must be uh, negative. So we have here and here, negative, negative. You can check, you can um, uh, do FOIL and see if you can get the original e uh, quadratic equation. And you can see negative two times negative five is positive 10. And you can check the middle terms. I mentioned it in class, negative four U minus 19 minus 8 uh, 15 u it will give me negative 19 u so this is the correct factory and with this let's go ahead and solve we get 3 u minus 2 equal to 0 or 2 u minus 5 equal to 0 solving for u let's start with this one we add two on both sides we get 3 u equal to 2 and then u equal to 2 third. Now this is a solution for u. I need uh, to go back to my original variable which is x. u is x to the negative one half so I need to replace this with x to the negative one half. So um, you can go about solving this in a number of ways. Uh, you want this to be 1. So one way to turn it into 1 is to erase it to a negative power. Negative 1. So if you notice negative 1 times negative 1, that gives you a positive 1, which, is, oh, which gives me an exponent of 1. But again, if you want to raise this to the negative 1 power, then you need to raise this to the negative 1 power. So then that gives me x to the negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Or you can just leave it out as, as x equal. Now 2 third to the negative 1, you can simplify it. This becomes is uh, 3 over 2. You can flip this and turn this into a positive 1. This is one of the rules in the exponent. If you have a over b to the negative n, then that gives you b over a and to the positive n. That's n. So you can turn the negative exponent to positive exponent. All you had to do is flip these two sides right here. Okay? And this is the way you uh, get the solution. So one solution is x equal this is 1, so just 3 over 2. That's one solution. Continuing this problem, I need, with, with this side here, I need to solve uh, on this side. So we have to add 5 on both sides. You get 2u. This cancels out equal to 5. And then you divide by 2 on both sides. You u equal uh, 5 over 2. 
again uh, this is a solution for you I need to go back to my original variable which is x to the negative 1 and that will give me 5 over 2 here now again I need x not x to the negative 1 so I need to raise this to the negative 1 power so the laws of exponent you multiply them that we give you positive 1 and positive 1 uh, is simply 1 so the power is I can leave it out and I'm going to do the same thing as I did here you flip the um, you take the reciprocal of the fraction that's 2 over 5 and you change this to positive plus 1 but again that's the same as 2 over 5 so what are the solutions? 2 over 5, 3 over 2. You need to write your solutions. Your solution must be separated with a comma.